Let's create a Fire Monkey uh, C++ Builder desktop application, and we'll put a button down again, and let's put it into the maybe upper right hand corner, or how about lower right hand corner? And we could anchor it to the right and bottom, and so when we resize our application, then the button stays in the lower right hand corner. Also, we have a few new layout managers, so let's uh, let's type uh, layout. And uh, the new layouts are a flow layout, and uh, and so let's uh, let's put a flow layout in, and we'll also put a grid layout in, grid layout, and we'll take a look at the two different layouts. So here, let's add a button, and so flow layout just says as we add buttons and other kinds of controls. Here's a T edit. Then they'll take their sizes and fit and flow into the uh, into the control. Let's put a radio button, for example, and uh, maybe another edit, and a, and a speed button, for example. And so if we resize, then they flow uh, however they fit. And then if we go to the grid layout, grid layout has two properties here called... Uh, Let's see. Well, there's orientation, of course, and then there's uh, item height and item width. So let's uh, set these. So in a grid layout, all the controls we place in it will have the same height and width. So let's add a button. Okay. And an edit box. All right. And you get the idea. A speed button and so on. All right. And again, they'll fit uh, however they fit. So... Flow layout, grid layout, that's two new layouts. Of course, you still have scaled layout that was in XE2 that you can drag and drop and, and move around.